Well, you might have noticed it got a little warmer and a little more humid on this Tuesday. Getting to Wednesday, it'll be the peak heat and humidity of the week. After that, we start cooling things down into the weekend. Taking a look to the north, we've got a very weak front, but it is producing a little bit of rain. Some of that eventually could make it into our northern counties uh, later this evening into the night. The first shower is kind of falling apart there. And as we go through the overnight hours, we'll watch that little front make its way a little farther south. Might even see some light rain closer to Highway 30, maybe even a little closer to Highway uh, Interstate 80. It won't be a lot, though. Don't worry about that. And as we get into the afternoon, this front will uh, re-energize with the heating of the day and another system catches up from the south and west so we can have some rain breaking out over the area for our Wednesday afternoon. Some of that will stick around till Thursday. Thursday, most of the rain concentrated south of the I-80 corridor. But look at our Wednesday highs back into the mid and upper 80s. A dew points high enough that those heat indexes will get to the mid 90s. But again, after that, we should cool things off. Here are your Wednesday highs, middle 80s and upper 80s pretty much across the board, but warmer to the south where we could hit 90 in some spots along uh, Highway 34 and Point South. 88 in the Quad Cities tomorrow, partly cloudy. Some scattered showers and a few storms, non-severe in the afternoon. We're at 82 Thursday with most of the rain along and south of I-80, 82 Friday trying to dry off into the weekend. Low 80s with some rain Sunday, near 80 Monday and Tuesday as we dry things off.